Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. So today I'm going to show you guys a real quick and easy way to clean fuel injectors. This is just a little trick I saw and I thought it was pretty cool, so I thought I'd share it with you guys. But that's what my channel is all about, helping you guys with tips and tricks, Jeep repair and maintenance, so let's check it out. So here I have everything that we need to clean this old fuel injector. I did a test on these guys and they weren't spraying real good. They're a little gummed up, so we're gonna clean that. We've got some uh, fuel line tubing here that we're gonna cut a little piece of that off. Some wire with alligator clips. Some parts cleaner, you can use a carburetor cleaner, whatever you'd like, your cleaning solution of choice. Some pipe clamps, a little bit of petroleum jelly, just to kind of help lube up these uh, O-rings. Nine volt battery. And then you're gonna need a little rubber stopper. This one I've already drilled a little hole in it and put the straw in it from my parts cleaner in here. So that's gonna go in the end of our uh, fuel line tubing here. Also some safety glasses in case something sprays out on us. So I'm gonna start out by cutting just a little piece of this. We don't need very much. And you need a fuel line that's big enough to go over the end of your fuel injector here. So if we cut it right about here, that should do. Like I said, it doesn't have to be very long. So here I have a little rubber stopper, and all I've done was drilled a little hole in it that the straw from my cleaner, I stuck that through it. And it's gonna stop right at the end there. We're gonna put that into our fuel line here. And this rubber stopper, it's the one I had on hand. It's a little bit small for this guy. Now it seems like it would be easier just to put a straw or something directly into the ejector here, but the way these are designed, there's a little tab on the inside there that it, uh, it's not a perfect circle. There's little things sticking out in there, so you can't stick anything in there. So that's why you have to put a fuel line or something on the outside of it here. And the reason we're keeping our fuel line here short is we don't want a lot of just free space in there. We want the rubber stopper right down to about the end there, and then we're gonna just slip this over the tip so we don't fill up a bunch of the fuel line here with cleaner. Just a short little space is best. Then just a little bit of petroleum jelly on the O-ring here, just helps us slide it on and off. Let's get our safety goggles on here. Slip our little rubber tubing onto our fuel injector. And now here we have a nine volt battery and we're gonna use this to activate the fuel injector. So there's a little plunger in there that when the current is going to it, it pulls that plunger back, allowing fluid to squirt out. So we're gonna have that ready to go. You just gotta prop it up a little bit, there we go. Take our alligator clips, put it on our fuel injector. And when I touch this, you can actually hear the fuel injector, that little plunger pull back, so. Let me bring you guys a little closer here so you can hear that. So now everything's hooked up tight here. We shouldn't have any leaks. So I think this is a little better design than the other way I saw somebody do it. And depending how much pressure you have in your cleaner here, you can blow the end right off here. You can shoot the fuel injector off. Let me show you real quick. So if I squirt my cleaner here, and that's why we have safety glasses on too. So be careful of that. It's actually a good idea to kind of hold this together. So I'm gonna hook this up to my battery and then start spraying. Kind of holding this together a little bit. So that's just a really quick and inexpensive way that you can clean your injectors. If you found this tip helpful, give this video a thumbs up, make a comment down below, I love hearing from you guys. Or if you have a tip or trick that you want me to share in a video, be sure to leave a comment. And check out my next video right up there. Thank you guys for watching, have a good day.